Hello, I'm Dr. Dietrich Klinghardt. I'm a medical doctor. I've been in practice for 42 years and uh, specialized in the treatment of chronic illness. Um, in the last 30 years or so, um, the health span of people, the years that they have, whether really in abundant good health, has shortened dramatically. That's published now. And also since a few years, our life expectancy is retreating, it's regressing. One of the reasons that we isolated um, for the, the decline in human health, but also decline in health of plant life on the planet and animal life, is the uh, toxicity, uh, the, the environmental toxicity. And there is tens of thousands of substances that have now entered our life cycle that are adverse to our health. But uh, amongst the multitude of toxins emerged have the metals as predominantly damaging to our system. Uh, we know that the uh, world population right now is estimated that half of the people alive today will die either with or of brain-related disorders such as Alzheimer's disease makes up about 80% of that. And so we had to take a deep look. Also, uh, friends that have dissected uh, cancers have found uh, aluminum in the middle of breast cancer, mercury in the middle of breast cancer. Studies on Alzheimer's disease have shown elevated levels of mercury uh, and aluminum in the brain. And it has become clear uh, that removing metals from the body uh, can be a fantastic helpful tool in conquering chronic illness. So I've been doing this since 30 years. 30 years ago, I apprenticed with the German toxicologist, Max Daunderer, who wrote three volumes of books on mercury toxicity. I apprenticed with Vera Steskol, who developed the MELISA test, one of the leading tests for mercury toxicity. And in the US, uh, I apprenticed with Boyd Haley, uh, professor of chemistry at the University of Kentucky. And so I had good mentors. There are tools that are simple and biologic and healthy to remove uh, the abundance of toxic metals from our central nervous system and from our body. This requires substances that cross the blood brain barrier and it requires a synergy, a, a a combined effect between using appropriate biological chemical compounds and biophysics. I will uh, disclose what we have been successfully doing for the last number of years in my clinic at this upcoming seminar in November in London. Um, and the tools will apply both to practitioners that have a license to practice medicine it means there's going to be some suggestions for intravenous therapies and for prescription drugs, but there will also be a large number of suggestions that do not require a medical license to apply those tools to people in chronic illness. And so it will be a seminar helpful to all practitioners, but also to patients that are affected. So this is my invitation to you. Come, enjoy the seminar. It's going to be one fun day full of information, but also uh, not too stressful on the brain, I promise.